frosty morning. On my way to my oral surgeon just to get my teeth checked out. It's been a long process. We're hopefully getting towards the end of this. I've had three implants placed. One didn't take, so they've redone it. And now it's been several months since then, and they're just gonna look at it today and see if it's developing, I guess. Well, good news. Just got the x-ray, just saw the doctor. And he thinks I'm ready to test this Feld abutment. And we got the appointment for like February 18th. I just updated Rebecca, we're super excited. She sent me a little video of Henry. Oh goodness, Henry. Oh my word, that little rascal. We gotta get back to him. Hopefully the kids have done well on the chores. I asked them to vlog, hopefully they got some vlog footage. Looks like Jonah's going to feed the luchadors. How's it going? Okay. We done? Or are we just getting started milking? We're done. You're done milking? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Did you help him? No. So you still got your helmet. Safety, right? How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Oh, he's right here. Are you <laughs> Kids, Why? don't get too involved. We're gonna go out and do a project soon. Okay. I do want to show you guys this daily. <sighs> They're just trucking along on this paint by number. I can already start to see it. It's a cat. All right, kids, let's go get a handle on this ramp in. Josiah has totally dissected his go kart. He's also recruited my help, which. If they ask for it, I will help them. No unsolicited advice, though. What's what's the deal with yours? What's how's it going? It's working on it. I fixed the steering. When I turn the wheel this way, it, it turns goes down. correct direction yes. now. Yes. Oh wow. What's the deal with yours, man? You tore it apart. You gotta be able to make it thinner. Ah. Do we have an old hose somewhere, like this, but not, but like broken and raggedy? I thought we had hose, old hoses just for this. We're putting a handle on the ram pin, but we need an old hose. That's what we're doing. We're trying to find it. Did you find one? Yeah, right here. That's yeah. exactly why I saved that for something like this. <laughs> All right. We were in the midst of getting our cable on and our manure spreader came from, well, a gift from Kubota. Let's go see it, my man. Kubota doesn't actually make a manure spreader, but they gifted us one so that we can do our deep bedding. I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm doing surrounding manure spreaders because I don't. But the essential idea is, I know this much, we put the, compost uh, we'll put in the compost from the deep bedding. That's why we do the deep bedding is because if it dropped on the soil right now, all the nutrients would leach. We'd have that organic matter, but it would leach off and we wouldn't capture it. But we capture it in that deep bedding and come spring, we'll, we'll fill this up with that material and you hook it up to the Kubota and dispense the PTO and it drives this thing um, what, it's not a conveyor belt but it's like that this goes slowly slowly now this raises up this holds it in place until you get there and then with the hydraulics got the hydraulics over there 
it raises this up and it's a shield for anything to sling and get on me. This is just a chain. Uh, the, the man said we need to keep it clean. Our manure can erode things pretty easily. So we'll, we'll keep it clean, we'll keep it greased. It, it comes through, this will be up, so all the manure can come through, but it's coming through slow. And this is spinning really fast. You can see the chain that propels this and brings these forward. I think this is a perfect size. You know, ideally it could be bigger, but I don't think it should be because I'm gonna go up on a 30 degree slope. You looked ridiculous. <laughs> I was hoping nobody was driving by while I was trying to get that thumbnail shot. We're gonna have to put the handle project off down at the ramp pen. Our trainer is gonna be here any minute. And then lunch, so we'll go back to that later. Ah, uh, well, Jacob, we got him to sleep. I know, that was so you nice. got time to wake him up. You got nice Rebecca's surprise. undivided attention. I know, I was like, I hope I so can put him down. So what's the plan today, man? So today we're gonna do a small amount of swings. So last time I think we did 15 yeah. deadlifts. Yeah. So I think we may do like 15 swings today. So Sweet. very, very small amount. <laughs> How do you feel after that, Beck? Worked out. Good. And we didn't even really work out. I mean, we did move our body though, so that's good. Josiah's cooking up some nachos. You gotta say it like this. Nacho! Nacho! You want me to do it? <laughs> Nacho! Yep. If you're gonna eat nachos, you gotta say it. Get him. Lily. Nacho. <laughs> Mama's pulling up the proofing of the latest episode of Wild There's Still, Roots and Refuges show on Abundance Plus. That's a, that's a epic opening shot. Okay, well we gotta watch it, make sure it's all right. I had to pause the video for a second, just at the good part, just at the, She's getting sick part. I guess that's not the good part, but I wanna know what happens. But first, I just remembered, today's episode of Burning Up Cooking Show, beef brisket. I'm gonna try the gigantic Dutch oven. We're a little further behind than I would want to be. It's like one o'clock. Normally I bake this at 300. We might need to do 325. First thing I'm gonna do, anoint this piece of meat with oil. Rub that in. And do some Redmond salt. Plop it in there. Actually, this is a pretty easy thing. Just get it started and walk away and come to it and it's done. Not quite. I think I'll take the lid off and maybe turn it up to 350, maybe even 400 for the last half an hour, an hour. Let's go see what's happening to Jessica. Is this even widely talked about? That she talk about this a lot on her channel? No, this is something exclusive. This fall, as my, my little garden was failing and I was kind of having to go, wow, I'm really gonna have to just let this go. Let's finish what we started out in the field. Okay. And get that handle on. Fed muffin keeps getting in here. I know. <laughs> this is our asparagus and strawberries. We could keep stud muffin out, but we're kind of revamp, rethinking uh, yeah. this whole area. <laughs> We went to pull the rest of it off and it's blocked by this, I don't know, we, we rigged, the, ca the cable must have broke at some point. The, it's blocking us from getting it off. We tried cutting it, that's not happening. So we're going to we'll just take this off right have here. to unhook the other that end. The wire is terrible. It, it is, we probably need to replace that whole thing, but I don't have any on farm, do we? We have some cable, but we don't have any of this stuff. Do we have coated cable? No, we don't have coated cable. What's wrong, Lily? My teeth is really loose. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's check it out. Don't pull it yet. Let me check it out. Yeah, that cable is unsafe. Ow. There it is. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, it hurt. You got it. Uh, ow. You can have I it. Got a lot of blood. Good job. Looks like we're gonna replace the cable. Let's put the old cable up. 
to the new one. And that's how long we'll cut it. Did you think this was a good length? Yes. Okay, I got one end. Just size snaking on the handle. We're missing one carabiner, but Rebecca says it's out there. We'll see. Is it there? Carabiner over there? Yeah, there it is, hanging up. All right, try it, Josiah. You put that end on. That end's already on. Okay. We got a nice handle. Feels good. Nice, Josiah, nice. This is a pleasure. Baby's asleep. But first thing we gotta do, Josiah, we gotta look at this video. What's the name of it? Handmade wooden go-kart build. And we gotta find out board sizes and quantities. What's up guys, in this video we're we'll going way back. Before we had these. We've done our homework on the computer. Rebecca's checking the vlog. Just say so you ready, you got a uh, measuring tape? Yep. Oh my word, look at this construction zone. You think the stuff's in there? We're gonna just get the supplies. I think we could get a two foot by four foot out of that. Okay. Not, there's one on the other side of this. But we need a line to pop, you know where Chalk line is. The boys have absolutely destroyed the shop. <laughs> chalk line? We might be spending this moment finding the chalk line. There's a two by six buried right in there. There's a big one. We dug out our plywood. We've got some two by sixes. I think we've got enough here to make it happen. And for our two by fours, go ahead and take your your frame off. And that'll give you something to do after I help you with these cuts. We've got our cuts. So you guys can get an idea of how it's gonna go. Josiah, you'll disassemble that and disassemble that and then we'll have a project tomorrow, okay? Yep. Look at Jonah's progress. You got a roll bar on here? Yeah. How did you bend it? I just put it in those bars right there and pulled it up. All right. You got it to your tail light? Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, you was gonna hook it up. I was, but I. Well, it's probably the bulb. No, uh, I had the I had the cords and right stuff right here. I just right. couldn't figure out how to get it hooked up to the brake. All right. But I got the brake pedal on. Oh, you got a brake pedal. Like this actually works. No, the pedal. It's a wooden. I just built the pedal piece. I have to hook the brake. It's a wooden as, piece. Uh, up. You hooked it up to that spring. Oh my gosh! I wish you guys could get in there and see that. It's actually. It's pretty incredible, the, me the mechanics you've got going on in there. Can you see it from this angle? Gosh, look at the mechanics he's got going on. Look how the, the meat came out. It actually cooked a lot faster than I thought. Kept it low down, turned it off at the end. But let's see, let's see. Mm, that'd be one of my favorite cuts. Who set the table? It looks nice, Lily, how beautiful. How's everybody like it? Good. How you like it, Mr. Henry? Oh, here he's eating. You're eating now. Yeah, he is. You want to try some brisket? Try some brisket. Come on. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Good boy.